Hi, this is a tutorial on interactive testing using stream and forms. Um, basically, the idea is to be able to assess students upon a video or an audio that they've listened to. So we're going to use stream to upload our video. The students will be able to watch the video and somewhere in the timeline of the video, it will stop and the forms will appear and students will have to answer the question. Now, where in that video the forms will appear, that's entirely up to you. You can put it in the middle of the video. You can put it at the end of the video. And I think it's a fantastic way to assess students on listening for languages. For example, you can upload a video, which is just audio, or it could be video as well. Students will listen to it, and then they will have to answer questions based on that video. I think it's um, a very useful tool also with things like sciences, let's say a, physic, a demonstration of a physics experiment, a chemistry experiment, and you can record yourself as an educator. Students can watch the video, and then you can ask questions about that experiment, things like do's and don'ts, things that someone should have done, shouldn't have done, or something to do with the experiment. So I'm going to get straight into this to show you how it's done. It's um, actually very, very simple. Um, the first thing is to create a forms quiz. I'm not going to go into too much information about forms quizzes. That's a different tutorial. But basically here I've got from my forms, I went to forms, I created the quiz. And because my video is going to be about Teams notifications, stopping those notifications, I added some questions here. Now, what I do want to add is here in the settings, it would be a good idea, instead of just putting accept responses, you could put like a start date and then end date. So if it's going to be assessed work, then you want this uh, the, the form to be available at a specific time and for it to stop or freeze at the specific time as well. So they can't do the test after or complete the quiz after the test period. So this is a, a good thing to do here. Also, you need to do record name. You need to record the name so that you know which students have submitted and also one response per person. And again, that is so they don't submit multiple um, quizzes. OK, so once you've made the form, you've got the form, that's fine. What you want to do is to copy the link. So here's the link. So if I go to share, I can copy the link. And that's it as far as forms is concerned. That's all you need to do. So you've made your quiz and you've copied the link. Now I'm going to go to stream. Now stream is where I'm going to upload my video. So I've either got a video from a lesson. You might want to do assessment. So here I'm going to go to my content videos. So here is all the videos which I've got. And this is where you will find all the videos from your online lessons. You might want to do a quiz on one of the lessons that you've already um, given to the students and you would just want to play the video and add a quiz so they get to watch that lesson again and answer some questions. I'm going to add a new video. So up here you can see drag files here to browse uh, or browse to upload the video. I'm just going to click and drag. So I've got a video here. This is the, the tutorial I, I gave you on how to stop the notifications in Teams. So I'm just going to click on this, drag this into my window here and let go and it should start uploading. Okay, so here I can give it some information. Um, teams stop, Teams notification stop, Teams notifications. And then while I'm, I'm adding the description, you can see it's processing here. Um, it takes a little bit of a while to get up to 0%, but it does actually move a bit faster afterwards. So I'm just going to pause the video and get back to you as soon as this is done. OK, we can see now that um, it's finished, um, it's uploaded, and it gives me an option here to cho choose a thumbnail. In other words, what the thumbnail of the video is going to look like. So you can actually add as well. I'm just going to leave, um, let's say, that one there. It just chooses a frame from the video, and that's, that's a thumbnail that you will see for that video. Then you've got other things like permissions and options. We're not going to go into these things. There, there really isn't much there. Um, so you can choose who can watch. Uh, the video. If you want to put it to a specific group in your teams that you can, um, I'm just going to go by link. I'm just going to click on publish. So all I've done now, I've published my video. And if I now go to my content and go to my videos, I can see the video I've just added. So all I've really done, I've just uploaded the video to stream. Now what I'm going to do I can see it's open to everybody from here. Um, I'm going to click on the video to open it. 
And now that I've opened this video, it's going to start playing it. I'm just going to stop it. There we go. On the right hand side, you see you've got this thing here called interactivity. So I'm going to click on interactivity and it says add form. Now, before I add the form, I'm going to move to, let's say, halfway. I, I want the form to appear here. So let's say they listen to this part of the video, the first part here, up to the first 19, 20 seconds. And then I want the form to come in for them to answer the questions. So what I can do is I put my timeline where I want the form to appear. You can obviously put it at the end of the video. That's fine, too. I just want to show you that you can actually put it halfway through the video. So I'm just going to go here and then I'm going to go to interactivity, add the form. And it wants me to paste the URL of the form. So let's just make sure I've got that. I'm going to copy the link of this form, uh, go back, and I'm going to add that there. Now I'm going to give this uh, a name. Name your form. I don't know, say checkpoint Teams notifications. Okay. Add to timeline, and it's going to add it to the where my timeline is right here. So if I click on add to timeline, that's it. And can you see now? It's just put the little marker here. That's where the form will come in. So if I go here and press play, this is what the viewer would see, and it will pop up now with the form. Okay, and it will apply the settings of that form. Now it's not letting me do the form because I've already completed this form and I put only one per uh, one response per person. So actually that's a good test. You can see now um, if I've submitted my test, I cannot go and submit again. Uh, students can continue to the video and if they've gone past this and they want to go back to the test, they can always click here to submit the vid to go to the form section again. So if they do click on continue video, and they skip the test, they can always click on this part here and it will take them to the form. And that's basically it. Once they finish, they submit. If they submit within the deadline that you've given, perfect. So if we want to give this a quick test, I'm going to do that now for you. I'm going to get a share link for this video. So I'm just going to copy the link from there. I can also do this from my content videos. So let's say I wanted to give the link to my students or post it in Teams. I can come here, go to this point here, click on share. There's my link. I can copy this and I can post that in Teams. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to simply go to another window. I'm going to open up Chrome. I'm going to open an incognito window. Okay, just so that you can see this. Full effect. I'm not going to sign in. I'm going to go in as a guest. I'm going to paste my link there. Okay, and because I've got it, people in my organization, I have to sign in. So I'm going to sign in with a student account. Okay, so now it's going to take me to the video. I'm a student now, I'm part of this organization or it's part of my team. It will allow me to watch the video. Okay, there we go. And I can click on play. And when it gets to this part, it will open up the form. And I can answer these questions as a student. So once this is open, wait for that to load. There you go. I can answer the questions depending on what it is. Da, 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 da. Click that. I can click on submit or I can continue to video. I just go to submit. That will submit my answers. And once it's submitted, I can continue to watch the rest of the video. As I said, you can put this at the end of the video. I think that's where uh, most people will add this. And that's about it. If, if they want to go back, let's say they didn't submit and they skip this part, then they could always go back to this part of the video, press play, and it, you can see it's going to skip that part because we missed it. We can open from here, though, a couple of ways. There you go. Open checkpoint in Teams. It's there. And they can also click on interactivity and click on the form from here.